Hey guys, it's Lilac Bat, and today I'm gonna do sort of a review video, and it's gonna be on the new Vanity Planet brush set. Anyway, before I start, I want to make sure that you know that they did ask me to do a video on this. It's not sponsored, I'm not getting paid, but they did ask me to review it. So that is why I'm doing this video. I am also an affiliate with Vanity Planet for both the brush set and the brush, but I'm not required to just say good things about the brand. So I will be giving you both pros and cons. So I do have discount codes for both the brush set and the skincare brush that I will put right here. So that you can save some money if they seem interesting to you. Otherwise, obviously, don't buy them if they don't sound appealing to you. And of course, you can just go on the website and purchase them with no code or with someone else's code. You know, you do you. Alright, so now that we have that out of the way, we can get into the brush kit. They're also vegan, cruelty-free synthetic brushes, and the leather case is also vegan. It's made from leche fruit. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but yeah, it made, it's made from fruit, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I've heard of pineapple being used to make leather, uh, which is really nice. So yeah, these are all vegan friendly, so I strongly encourage you to try it out. Um, the original price is a hundred bucks, which is like, holy shit. But I do have a discount code for 70% off, which makes it 30 bucks, which means that each brush will be $2, because there's 15 brushes in here. And I used only brushes from this set to do my makeup today, and I will show you kind of a demo of everything I did. So the first thing I did after I primed my face was going with some concealer with this concealer brush right here. And I usually never use a brush to blend out my concealer so I was very surprised that this actually worked. For my foundation today I used my Bare Minerals powder and with a little like card that comes with the brush kit it kind of explains what all the brushes are meant for. And it says that this one is meant for mineral powders, but I feel like this will be great if you want very, very natural light coverage. But my favorite brush to use with my Bare Minerals powder is this one right here. And you can see I have some pretty good coverage going on because this brush is more dense, so that's why I like it more. And here's one that I didn't use today just because I didn't set my face with a powder, but this is an awesome setting brush. This is also awesome for bronzer, which is what I've been using it for mainly. And this is a flat foundation brush, just a standard flat foundation brush. I actually haven't used this for foundation just because I always use a sponge or this flat brush. Um, so I can't tell you how it performs, but I have used it for uh, body painting. So like if I want to cover a big area with black, I'll use this because it covers a lot and it's flat which packs on a lot of color. Then we have this smudger brush. This is very flat so you can get those really crisp brows so that's why I use that up here instead of on my lower lash line just because I like my lower lash line to be more blended out and this is very precise. I've also used this for cut creases and it works really well for that. Then we have your essential blending brush and this is awesome for transitional colors, crease, blending, amazing brush. Surprisingly soft because they have one from Morphe that looks very similar to this but it's very rough on the skin but this one is actually really nice and soft. And here we have a small crease blending brush and this is what I used to blend out my crease with a warm medium brown and I also use this on my lower lash line just because I love that smoky lower lash line. And now we have just your typical packing eyeshadow brush. Uh, today I used this on my eyelid just to pack on this shimmery shadow which is I'm Peachless by Makeup Geek and I also used it for my inner corner. This brush actually reminds me a lot of one side of the Shade and Light brush by Kevin D. It has the same shape, so you can contour with this end and then put blush on with this more rounded end. But of course, um, if you have some leftover like contour powder on this end and then going with your blush and 
you end up getting a contra color where you don't want it, that can be an issue, you know? So maybe like a separate contour brush and then this could be a great blush brush. Then we have this very nice and soft fan brush which I use to highlight. Because it's not super thick and dense, you can do a very natural and light coat or you can just go for it, which I mean, I like to do some heavy duty highlighting and you can definitely do that with this one. There's actually one brush missing from my set because I lost it, I don't know where it went, but it is a lip brush. I used it on my model a few days ago and I used it yesterday to do my ombre lip. I'll put a picture right here. Uh, yeah, I love that brush, but luckily there's another lip brush in this kit, which looks like this. And no, I'm not crazy. It's a lip brush. Just pull it out like that. And this is what I used to apply my lipstick today. Works awesome. And this is so cool, so you can put it in your purse and just bring it with you for reapplication without it like smearing inside your bag. Then we have this brush, which I'm guessing is another concealer brush. I'm not sure. I don't have the little slip it comes with because um, this is the one I used for my concealer today and this is that other brush. I'm not really sure um, if they have different purposes. I feel like it wasn't really necessary to have both of these because they're so similar. They just have kind of a different feel to them. This one is a bit thicker and tapered. Um, this one is still tapered, but it's a little more uh, compact. I don't know, maybe this is supposed to be like a packing brush for the eyelid, but I used another brush for that, so I'm not sure. Mm. And yeah, those are all the brushes in this set, except for the missing lip brush right here. <laughs> but it's just a standard lip brush. Um, it's very similar to this one, just a little bit wider. So my favorite brushes from the kit is this powder brush, this flat top brush for foundation, the fan brush for highlighting, this fluffy blending brush, and this flat little smudger brush. And one thing I'm missing from the set is like a medium sized blending brush. Like here is the big one and here is the smaller one. I would like something kind of in between these, if that makes sense. Just because I like very smoky and blown out eyeshadows. I feel like for some things that I want to do, this is too big and this is too small. I love these as they are, but I would like something more. Like for example, instead of this brush, which I feel... Like, I don't know if this one or the other concealer brush is better, but like instead of having both of those, I would like another eyeshadow blending brush. Another thing I'm missing is like a spoolie for your brows just to brush them through. Um, luckily, a lot of brow pencils come with those, so I used one of those today just to lay my hairs in place. Anyway, that is it for my review. I hope you found it helpful, and if you end up buying it, please let me know how you liked it. I think this would be a great set for a beginner just to have like all the brushes you need, and like I said, I feel like I'm missing a few brushes, so then you can just go out and buy individuals of what you need and your set. Alright, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.